down for food reading. Most importantly, we are here because of the victims and families. And I have to reflect, Mr Speaker, that when I visited the hospitals and the victims, <clears throat> that none of them had just one gunshot wound. I struggled to recall any single gunshot wounds. In every case, they spoke of multiple injuries, multiple debilitating injuries that deemed it impossible for them to recover in days, let alone weeks, Mr Speaker. They will carry disabilities for a lifetime, and that's before you consider the psychological impact. We are here because of them, and I believe that they are here with us, supporting what we are doing here today as well, because these weapons were designed to kill, and they were designed to maim, and that is what they did on the 15th of March. Mr Speaker, we have moved to stop the sale, and now we've moved to stop the ongoing circulation of these weapons. I could not fathom how weapons that could cause such destruction and large-scale death could have been obtained legally in this country. I could not fathom that. But they were modified easily. And I know the Select Committee witnessed the e Mr Speaker, we are ultimately here because 15, 50 people died and they do not have a voice. We in this House are their voice. And today, Mr Speaker, we have used that voice wisely.